Hello friends, welcome to this presentation. This is soft reason. In this presentation, I will be uh, presenting to you how to add base plate to an inclined member, just like this. See, this one is an inclined member. How to add base plate to it is what we will be looking at in this presentation. So, let's start. We go straight away to columns and we select the column. Now, for which you check the properties, uh, the profiles of the column will be considered that one. So, we'll place it here. Double click and then interrupt. Select the column so as to edit it. Then, I want to the bottom constraint, I want it to be zero, and the height of the column just make it to 500. Sorry, 5000. Just like that, click on modify to have this. So go to beam, activate the beam. In the profile, we will change this profile of this beam. We'll be going to uh, 250 by 254 by 102. Click on apply it. Okay. I want to pick the beam on this point and then I uh, will place it just like that. Interrupt that. So after which I want to be extending these columns. So I will select the column. I click on this. Sorry, select it like that. Click on that and then maybe make it 5,500. Just like that. Click outside to extend it. Just like that. Then we'll be placing a base plate here first, following this point. Okay. So for us to do that, we go to the application and component. We type in the provisions base. Pick this one. Pick the column and then select this point to extend the base plate. Just like that. After which you click here to deselect the command. You double click on the base plate for editing. Alright, so in the dialog we'll move straight away to the anchor rod. Just like that and then we'll be able to set hide anchor rod. And then we will be using this pattern of bend. We want it to bend inward. We want to uh, add a, a washer and the knot. Alright, just like that, and beneath it, the same thing. Okay, click on modify. You will be having something of this kind. Alright, so we'll move straight away to the boat. Alright, we will have the edge distance to be 50, numbers of boat 2, and we will be having 300 as the spacing between the two boats. 2 here, yeah, and 2 also here. Yeah, sorry, this point is 50. Alright, which is the edge distance, 50. Alright. Two boats and we have a 300 here yeah, as well. Then click on to modify. So you have something of this kind, and this is model enough. All right, so we want to change the size of the boat, both sides will be using 16, and then the tolerance will be considering this one. And sorry, the boat standard is that one, the tolerance will be two. Okay, click on modify. All right, so after which, just click on to apply. Okay, so once this is done like this. We want to place this same thing here, so we click here, select this member, then select the instruction point, and then you'll be having something of this kind. And so we want it to bend in the vertical directions. And so we have to edit this, okay? So we just have to just double click on that. Once you double click on that, in the provision, we go straight away to the general. And in general, I will change this place to. Uh, positive ex uh, axis, okay, and then at this point I'll turn it to zero, just like that. Click on modify. Once you click on modify, you have it like this, all right. So, this is how you can place a base plate uh, to an inclined member, all right. So, after which, click on apply it and okay, okay. So, you now come over here. I used to be able to have these connections. You go to application and component, remove that, remove that one, and just type end plate. So we will be considering uh, this one, this end plate. Select it, pick the column, and then the client member to extract this just like this. Right click and interrupt, double click on the plate so as to edit it. Resume closely, go straight away to the boats. Yeah, you have an exit distance of uh, 50. The numbers of boats you have a 3, and the spaces of these boats uh, will be uh, 150. Sorry, use 200. 
in that direction so here is 50 and then click on modify so you have something of this kind you need to increase this to 300 all right modify all right come to this point and change it to middle modify to have something of this kind you can also expand it by the width you have this point 50 at that point 50 all right the number of bolts in this direction will be two all right then the uh this person will have 150 click on modify to have something of this kind so this is model enough all right you can remove the stiffener if you wish you come to this point select this and select this one click on the modify so you have something of that kind apply and okay all right friends so we have come to the conclusion of how to add a base plate to an incline member so you can see how we add it to this member all right which is the bone of contention of this presentation all right so stay tuned for more advanced lesson and bye for now